Hi, in this video we're going to take a look at um, how to debug a test with the .NET Test Explorer. So here I've got to um, test this database, who are my green path, so it's my unit test project. So over here you can see the workflows um, test for this. We're going to do the MS test test, this one here. So I'm going to put a breakpoint in the code here right at the start. And what I'm going to do, so back over here, you can see we've got the MS test one, and, and there's another one, just so you don't get confused. There's one where it's doing it with a mock, but we're going to use this one here. So if I right click and I go debug test, okay, now it's waiting, you can see in the log here, it's waiting for me to attach the debugger. So we'll go um, over here and, sorry, I'm on the wrong bit. So we need to attach to .NET Core. So just so if you're a Logic App Dev, when you're um, attaching, you might want to attach to the function runtime at certain points if you're doing certain things. Um, but for the test, we want to attach to .NET Core. Um, <clears throat> so we need to choose the process to attach to. So we're going to run um, attach to testhost.exe. So I've got two projects here, I've got the unit test and the acceptance test. And it's going to have span up um, an instance for each project. So we want to attach to this one up here. And now we're, we're attached. The thing to watch for is um, we need to now click continue, which is the step I always miss. So now we hit our breakpoint here, and then we should be able. So we can step through the code now, and um, we can sort of see. You know what's going on here i'm i'm spinning up my um workflow test host with, which will kind of go through in a future video but you can see i'm, I'm kind of getting ready this will spin up the uh the runtime with the workflows in which we'll give that a second to do so that'll have func.exe with our workflow loaded we now create the test manager which allows us to call the logic app and then this post's going to actually go and execute my logic app. Then we get the response back, and then we're just making our assertions against the logic app run history now. So basically, it's you know it's the same as if you're um, debugging a test in C sharp from the perspective of debugging the actual test. And you can just run this through, um, I'll just F5 that. And then we go back to the test window over here and see one of the things I mentioned in a previous um, video was that sometimes the, the test explorer just looks like it hangs even though that test would have finished okay. And, um, and I think that's just a, a sort of issue with the, the test explorer tool, but you would have been able to step through and check it worked okay there. Um, so hopefully this video gives you a, a good um, quick intro to how to debug one of the unit tests here um, using the triggered from the test explorer. I think if you need to debug through, it's actually quite a handy way to do it with a test explorer because it's just easy to pick which test you're going to have to run. And, and it's a bit simpler than having to run the individual command that you would work out which test you want to debug. Um, so that's definitely one of the benefits of the test explorer tool.